Hi everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing Wavy's first full length album, Awaken the World. It comes in two different versions, the Awaken version and the World version. I did get both of these. I pre-ordered these albums from K-Town for you, and the physical copies did end up getting delayed a little bit past the original release date because there were some pictures in the photo books that had to either be taken out or edited. But these did come super quickly after the new release date, it just took me a minute to get around to be able to unbox them. We're going to take a look at the Awaken version first. It is a red cover with black lettering. Again, that red and black color scheme is super common, but I can't really complain because I love those colors together. And the sides are all plain, aside from the spine, which says, Wavy Awaken the World. On the back, we continue this trend of not having a track list on the back. We do have a group photo of the seven members in black and white. Very cool. I'm excited to take a look at this album. I haven't watched any unboxings, but I really liked the photo teasers. And it opens up with this flap right here. And inside we do have the track list. There are ten songs. We have the title track, Turn Back Time. Bad Alive, Unbreakable, After Midnight, which I think is my favorite song on the album. We have the interlude, Awaken the World, Only Human, Domino, Up From Here, Electric Hearts, and Stand By Me. This is a pretty solid album. I highly recommend listening to it if you haven't given it a chance yet. And around this flap, we have the members' names, Kun, Ten, Win Win, Lucas, Xiaojun, Hendry, and Yang Yang. And my biases in Wavy are Lucas and Tin, so I'm hoping to pull them for the random member items. Let's see, we have a folded poster here. Oh, nice. So I did get Lucas for that. It's kind of hard for me to show posters in my setup, but that is what that one looks like. And if I remember correctly, there wasn't a larger pre-order bonus poster for this album. It was just the smaller folded posters that you get inside. And then we have the booklet, which is good. Sometimes albums that have more unconventional packaging like this won't have a traditional booklet, so I'm pleased that this one does. And then the CD itself in an envelope at the back. I'm kind of sliding out of the envelope already. But that's what the CD looks like. Again, really like the graphic design on this album. And then the photo book, interestingly, is pretty much the exact same color as the other version of the album. So I wonder if that's going to be the same for both of them. If they're both going to look like the other version. I imagine the photo card will be in here somewhere. She got these numbers again. Lucas with his platinum blonde hair, Yang Yang and Win Win, Xiao Jun, Kun and Tin, Hendry, and then another picture of Lucas. Oh, and here I have the photo card. Let's see. So I got Kun's photo card. Very cute. And for the circle card, I believe that's Hendry. Very nice. I don't really collect the circle card, so I'm probably just going to hang on to that one. But the photo card will be up for trade for Tin or Lucas if anyone is interested in trading. I really like the concept for this photo shoot. I like the kind of punk rock schoolboy uniforms. It's very cool.
and then I have a slight concept change. I love Tin's painted nails. I'm such a sucker for painted nails, especially on guys. I think they're so cool. I love Tin's hair, too. I love that the chunky colored highlights are kind of making a return in K-pop. I've missed that styling. Okay, and here we have the lyrics for Turn Back Time, which also had a Korean version released after the album came out, which was an interesting choice. Lyrics for Bad Alive, lyrics for Unbreakable, After Midnight, the interlude does not have lyrics, lyrics for Only Human, lyrics for Domino, lyrics for Up From Here, the lyrics for Electric Hearts, which is also a really good song. Some people have compared it to Shiny, so I would give that one a listen if you're a Shiny fan. Lyrics for Stand By Me. And then we have some handwritten thanks to's. I always like to see thanks to's in an album, and it's always a really nice touch when they're handwritten. So let's see, we have Lucas's, Xiao Jun's. Here are a little bit of his in English, that's sweet. Uh, Young Young's. Win Wins, Kuhn, who wrote like two pages worth, Tin, who wrote his all in English, very sweet, and Hindery, and another group photo, and some credits. Next, let's take a look at the world version, and I'm very interested to see if there's going to be a big difference in the concept of this one. The color doesn't pick up really well on camera because the black ends up looking like more of a gray, but the spine does say wavy awaken the world. I apologize that it doesn't really want to focus. In the back, we have another group photo. These do look like different outfits, which makes me think it will be a totally new photo concept, which is exciting. Again, we have the track listing on the inner flap and another group picture here. And then we have our folded poster. Oh, okay, the photo cards are just loose this time. I was not expecting that. But I got Zhao Jun. Aw, oh, that's sweet. His little handwritten message is in English, and it says, Are you going minute by minute with us? Which is a reference to the lyrics and Turn Back Time. Very cute. And I got Yang Yang for the circle card. Which I might actually give to my friend. Because Yang Yang is one of their ultimate biases. And I don't really care to collect the circle cards. Even though it is super cute and I would normally hang on to it, I might send that to my friend as a surprise. And yes, the photo book is exactly the same colors as the opposite version. That's kind of neat. And this CD is basically the same design as the other one, just reversed. And then for the folded poster, I got Kuhn for this one. So now let's take a look at the photo book. The lettering is in red at this time. 
And yes, it definitely does look like we're going to get a different photo concept. This was, I believe, the dance scenes in the music video. So we'll start with Lucas. Young, young, win, win. Oh, Lucas again. Interesting. Xiao Jun. Kun and Ten. I love that shirt on Ten. It reminds me a lot of one that Wano wore during Shia era. It may very well be the same one. I haven't gone back to check. But I know he wore something similar to that. We have Hendry. Win win again. So these aren't really in a particular order. Oh, that's a really cool shot. I like that the concepts are totally distinct with different outfits. Because you don't always see that nowadays. Oh, I really like Tin's hand jewelry there. That's really cool. Oh, Lucas has hand jewelry too. I wonder if they all have it, actually. Ah, they sure do. That's really cool. I feel like a lot of groups nowadays will make multiple versions just for the sake of having them because they know they will sell and not really make much if any effort to differentiate between the two. And with this being Wavy's first time having multiple versions for an album, I was a little worried they might do something like that, but thankfully that is not the case. Ooh, we actually have some music video shots that looks like that's really cool. Because the music video is really gorgeous. And that's another thing, is a lot of groups nowadays don't have the music video concepts in a photo book for the album. So again, I really appreciate that they did this. The music video is kind of a similar concept to Monster X is Beautiful, just in the sense that the members are all in separate rooms, each with a distinct individual concept, and they're kind of trapped in this jail-like setting. The overall result is very, very different from Beautiful. Definitely don't think they're copying in any way. That's just the best example I can think of to compare it to. But I really like it. Highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Ten looks so gorgeous here. They all do, really. We have the lyrics again for Turn Back Time. Bad Alive. Unbreakable, After Midnight, The Interlude, Only Human, Domino, Up From Here, Electric Hearts, that's such a pretty picture of Tin, Stand By Me, and the Thanks Twos, which I'm assuming are the same as the other album. We have a group picture. And the credits. All in all, I am happy with these albums. They tried something different with the packaging, with the envelope style, but they still included a full sturdy photo book and the envelope itself seems pretty sturdy too, it doesn't seem like it would tear up too, too easy, which is always good. And I appreciate that the two albums have distinct concepts, and I also love that the world version included pictures taken from the set of the music video. That's always a bonus in my book. But that is it for today's unboxing, I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel, and if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.